We are from Group 18 and our project is designing and development of an intelligent reflective server. A typical communication channel consists of a transmitter, an uncontrollable communication channel and a receiver. With the use of higher frequencies, especially for 5G and 6G communications, when it goes to millimeter wave communication range, the effect of shadowing becomes prominent. It is that a signal which is transmitted by a source gets hindered and obstructed by the obstacles which are present in the communication channel. Therefore, what happens is the end user signal power gets extremely declined. As a remedy for this, the surfaces are made to be intelligent. It is that it can intelligently reflect the beam which is impinging on it into different directions so that the non line of sight signal power is increased. So, in our project, what we do is prototyping an intelligent reflective surface and we determine the algorithm which we should feed into the IRS in order to different types of direct. So, first of all, uh, in the design of the prototype of intelligent reflective surface, what we should consider is a basic building block of an intelligent reflective surface, which is a unit cell. Typically, a unit cell can be made to have different types of configurations. It is that it can be a one bit configuration, two bit configuration, and likewise. And in our project, what we consider is a one bit configuration having two modes of operations of on and off states. So how can we obtain these two states? It is by simply including a diode, it is a pin diode into this unit cell design. So when we forward bias this pin diode, it has a one mode of operation and when we reverse bias this pin diode, it has another mode of operation which is depicted in these two figures as on and off states of the pin diode. So we design this unit cell in, a, such, in such a way that it has a 180 degree phase difference in between these on and off states at our operating frequency. You can see here the magnitude and the phase responses of the unit cell in which we simulated using CSC Microwave Studio. Here you can see it has a 180 degree phase difference in between these two states at our operating frequency of 2.426. It also has a magnitude response which is closer to 1 so that we can have a maximum power radiated to the reflected beam uh, which is impinging on the surface. After considering all these uh, considerations, we finalize the dimensions of the unit cell and we design the unit cell and then we can replicate this unit cell to create a full size IRS. Uh, so, IRS is a collection of those unit cells where we replicate those into a certain size. And also, each of those unit cells can be controlled in uh, So, when you are going from the unit cell to the IERS, mainly uh, you have to uh, consider two factors. The first one is the power transfer, and the other one is you have to apply a certain phase gradient to the surface uh, so that the, the constructive interference is happen uh, towards the desired direction. So, in both of those two cases, you must have a, a certain size uh, determined for the IERS. In our uh, project, we have done those calculations. As I mentioned earlier, in order to give that phase gradient to the surface, we must have a control algorithm uh, designed for the IRS. So, in that case, we have designed this control algorithm with this uh, at that GUI as well. So, uh, to the control algorithm, we mainly give two inputs. The first one is the location of the transmitter, and the second one is the uh, initial direction. So, with those two parameters, we calculate the special phase delay from the transmitter to the each of the unit cells and also the progressive phase delay that will happen at each of those unit cells as well. When we get the difference of those two values, we can have the phase delay which should be imparted by each of those unit cells on the impeaching way. As mentioned in the first half, in our unit cell, it has only two states which are related to the on and off state of the pin data. So, it is a binary as well. So, in order to have the bind response, we have to quantize the phase value which we obtained earlier. Then we make it make them binary. So, binary in the body perspective, we can have an array of ones and zeros uh, for the uh, IRS to be tried. Then, after uh, having the uh, pattern for the IRS, uh, we have done those uh, basic set of simulations to verify those results. And uh, we were able to obtain an uh, accurate range of uh, 5, to 5 to 10 degrees as well. the final setup for our project. You can see this is the IRS we developed. It has 9 columns and 4 rows. Uh, we use 2 patch antennas for transmitter and for the receiver. We use uh, USRT equipment to feed the transmitter. We using uh, 300 radio, we configure the uh, USRT. This is the receiving antenna. We uh, connect the receiving antenna to expect an analyzer to measure the power of the receiving 
as it earlier this is a one bit irs so in unix cell there are two state called uh, on and off state uh, to get the two state we must send the control signal to all the unix states separately for that we use a raspberry pi for that on the control circuit there is a led panel we to indicate the on and off state of all the uh, unit cell at the moment we configure the irs for zero degree configuration you can see the pattern for that now let's move on to a demo of our project you can see this is the initial setup of our demonstration and the receiver is at zero degrees which is perpendicular to the irs and the line of sight path in between the transmitter and receiver is blocked by a metal sheet. So now the IRS is configured to have off state for all the unit cells and you can see the power level at a zero degree direction uh, at our operating frequency of 2.426. You can see the power level is around minus 46 dBm. And now we change the configuration of the IRS to direct the beam to zero degrees direction. And now you can see there is an increase of the spike at 2.42 frequency level and the power level goes up to around minus 38 dBm. And now we change the configuration of the IRS to direct the beam towards 35 degree direction. And still the receiver is at zero degree direction and you can see the decline of the power level at the operating frequency of 2.426. You can see it is almost at the noise power level. And now as we gradually take the receiver to 35 degree direction, you can see an increase of the power level at that particular direction. Now the receiver is at 35 degree direction and you can see the power level at that direction which is around minus 40 dBm and as we gradually take the receiver away from 35 degree direction you can see the power level gradually gets declined below to minus 40 dBm power level. So this confirms the operation of the prototype we developed for an intelligent reflective surface operating at 2.426 frequency band. Thank you very much.